Hey, welcome D-Lab everybody. I've got a question for you. Have you ever had the need for a custom shunt resistor? Say for scaling a meter in an old radio, but you can't find it. Well, I'm going to show you how to take one of these 5 watt ceramic resistors, open it up, and turn it into your custom shunt resistor. Alright, to make our custom shunt resistor, I'm going to start with a 1 ohm 5 watt wire wound resistor. This is those cement type that have the molding in the back. You can do the same thing with say a 4.7 ohm resistor. It all depends on the range that you're looking for for your custom shunt. So for this demonstration, we'll use the 1 ohm resistor. So here is the destructive part of the process. You have to open this case up and the best way to do it is to take a hammer and break that ceramic. And you're going to expose the inner wire wound resistor. So once you've split the case in half, take a pair of wire cutters or some other tooling and carefully remove this potting compound until you get this wire wound element out. So I've got the wire wound element removed. Now I'm going to scrape the nichrome wire and we're going to add a jumper so we can dial in our new value shunt resistor. So the wire they use for these resistors is nichrome. You can actually take an X-Acto knife, scrape that wire, and then you'll be able to solder to it. So here is my modified shunt resistor. I took a little piece of wire and I soldered it across some of the windings to reduce the value of resistance. So now we need to test and see what that resistance is. Alright, I'm going to show you an easy and accurate way to measure that shunt resistor. You would think that you could use a standard ohm meter and simply measure it, but unfortunately, in this case, since we're under an ohm, lead resistance of your meter is going to throw off your measurement. So the best way to do this is by utilizing a power supply, a milliamp meter, and a voltmeter. Let's test. Okay, now I'll post the test setup. You'll see the variable power supply, milliamp meter, and millivolt meter. We're going to start our test with the 1 ohm resistor that has not been modified. We're simply going to dial in the power supply until we see 100 milliamps on the current meter. Once you see the 100 milliamps, then you take the millivolt reading and move that decimal two places to the left. So in that case, this resistor is actually 1.1 ohms. Now let's hook up the modified resistor and see what that measures. Now I've got our modified resistor hooked up. Same deal. Bring it right to 100 milliamps. And this one measures 0.77 ohms. So now you can see, you could simply change your jumper position and dial in the value of the shunt resistor that you're after. So there you go, another tech tip from D-Lab Electronics. We took a standard resistor and turned it into a custom shunt resistor. It's just that simple. 